Yep, that's east. As I recall, west is... No, west is zero. So we need to head more south. Okay. But first... A nap. Looks dark enough to me. Come on. Before things spawn. Alright. No. Alessai. There we go. Nice. Okay. I'm sure you guys have figured it out by now, but if you get to bed outside, even like this, but if you do it before it's actually dark enough to let mobs spawn, you don't have to worry about following any of the bedroom rules, as they, as it were. Just make sure you get in the bed quick enough. Nothing spawns, so you don't wake up to anything. Which is nice. Makes for convenient exploring. And yes, that will probably stay there forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're just running out of time, guys. I am... I do apologize. Hmm. Let me get over here and pull the map back out. There's some really nice stuff out here. I, I really do hope the new terrain generator doesn't mess up this landscape. Because I'd really love to, for you guys to come to check some of this stuff out on your own. With your own exploring. Because, like I said, I will be releasing this map when we're done with it. When I'm done with it. So, if I move to the SMP server in, I guess, a week or two, as it is for me today then you guys will be getting the week the map then and you'll actually be able to actually come by and explore all this stuff yourself but I think it would be a lot more fun for you guys too if you were able to just plug my seed in and explore all this for yourselves just like you saw it in the LP <laughs> and look more gravel I almost feel like I'm being etho now Leaving it there on purpose. <laughs> Except for when he goes crazy and blows it up and... <laughs> Funny times. Well, we're getting more sand. But it's still just a beach. Life's a beach! <laughs> oh, the puns. They're always terrible, aren't they? <laughs> well, I guess while we're wanting walking can pick up some more sugar reeds. I think I might just keep calling them that from now. Because they they were reeds, and now they're sugar cane, but... Sugar reed works for me. Sugar reed dennard. No, no, not funny. Not at all. <laughs> what the... Yeah, I'm sure there's a cave under here. Thanks, game. Oh, there's... One right here. Eh. This is not cave time. This is... What the hell? Huh. It's like someone just took a big scoop out of the countryside. Whoa. That is dark. That's like... I can't see anything but the crosshair. It's actually sapped the light from my items. Wow. Okay. Be gone. Be gone. Aha. I have defeated the darkness. I win. Game over. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> no. There is no end to this game. Once you get in... Oh, hells yes. Once you get in... You never get out. And just my luck, it's on the edge of the map. You sh... Mm. Damn you, game. I go and make a map for the first time. I find a desert. And where is it? <sighs> Outside the boundary of the map. <sighs> awesome. But... We has a sand... Given the size of the cactus, this desert's been here for a while. Hmm. Yep. Right off the map. You'd never know there was a desert here looking at it like that. 
and it almost looks like that beach does connect. Like, this piece right up here was the beach. And the desert's right here. <laughs> Lovely. Well, hmm. Let me walk over there, because that's a lot of sand too, and that looks like it might be on the map. And You guys see that overhang? That's pretty cool. You know, now that I think about it, there may have been a desert fairly close to where we came out of cave entrance number two. Because that overhang we spent the night on, I think, had a desert very nearby, and I swear to God, if this is that overhang... <laughs> uh... Ah, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if this is the same overhang. Hmm. I don't know. Derp, I think is the word we use in this situation. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm kind of wondering now how many of you remembered this desert here from Chapter 5, or even when we wandered back up here towards the end of Chapter... I guess Chapter 9, since we're in Chapter 10 now, in case you weren't aware. And were screaming at me for probably the last episode or two, you moron! Go back to the overhang! Giant desert! Lots of sand! It's what you're looking for! Stop going the wrong way! But hopefully you guys weren't that angry. You was just kind of a, you know, if you would turn around and stop going in that direction, you might just find what you're looking for. Well, I guess since we're at it, let's see if we can finish out some of this map. I don't know if we're going to come back down here, but I think at least finishing out this piece would work. So, let's get to it. I think it would be fun. And who knows? Maybe it'd be a good chance to use some of the music I've had that I thought's pretty good, but just not really good for the usual kind of speed up. Who knows? We'll probably both be surprised. So, yeah, no music yet. But I just had a crazy idea. Something you probably can't do too often, legitimately. And usually we'll never know that you're able to. But, getting pretty close. I think we might be able to pull this off. What I'd like to do... Sleep in a dungeon. <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be fun. Also, it'd be a very interesting test to see what happens when there's something guaranteed to spawn on your face when you're in bed. And what better mob to do it with than the zombie? The innocent, poor, slow, dim-witted, green... zombie. Poor guy. No respect. None. Unless it's the SMP. In which case, he's got the reach of, like... He's got tripled the reach. And that just is nothing to screw with. But I think, while we wait, let me go ahead and finish clearing this out. Something I noticed I had forgotten to do when we ran across this in episode 100. Hey, look. Sand. Sweet. That's what we're here for. And no. <laughs> Just no. Alright, fine, I'll take the sapling. One of this too. Alright, we're we getting close. Do I have to go cut away for a second? Looks like I'm gonna have to cut away, so I'll be back with you guys as I'm hopping into bed. And maybe I'll gather up some of the sand. Probably not. I still wanna kinda leave the beaches alone. But I guess, actually, while we wait, let's check out the map. I did walk a little bit further. Nice. 
Something I might do before I release my map is finish this out. So that way you guys will at least have a map to work with to show the area and you'll you'll know right in the very center that's where that's where we live. It does actually look to be a bit colored differently, like maybe there's something there. Or maybe that's the sand pit. No, no, I think I think this is the sand pit, possibly. I mean that's the house. Well, regardless. Ugh, wrong button. I will be back with you guys. In like, never mind. <laughs> it's getting dark. Perfect. Oh, wasn't that chicken like right here? You move fast. Bringer of evil. Alright. Oh. Gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna sleep next to the zombies. Let's see what happens. I have no idea. Aww. And I snuggled up right next to him and everything. What are you, shy? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna beat my bed with a map. Alright, well. I guess now we get back to... Finishing out this map. And we want to... Start going this way. All right.
Okay, well, there we have it. That is the general layout of our area. Looks pretty cool, actually. Especially on one of these maps. An in-game map, our very first. It's not complete, but it gives us a pretty good picture of the area, and you know, now that I'm looking at it, this might be a giant desert. Hmm. Well, I will definitely keep my map on me when I head back out here to start getting some sand. Well, that was fun. It's kind of nice setting set one of these up for the first time. I've actually, actually never made a map outside of the update video. Don't even remember what version anymore. In which I made, in which I first showed off how to make one of those. And something that occurred to me as we were walking around, there's a couple of dungeons I've failed to get some mossy from. And considering the creeper that got us most recently caused me to lose all the mossy from before, be a good idea to come back and collect up all this stuff. And, well, I don't know, I would hope this is bright enough, because it's daytime, that any updating of blocks would not cause zombies to jump out on my face, but... Just in case, I think I might go ahead and bore you guys to death by watching me do this again. Even if nothing jumps out on me and I'm editing, I'll leave it anyway, because I said so. <laughs> well, yep, that looks like it. Alright, well, I think what I'm going to do is take another nap in a dungeon. And then I'm going to head back to that desert, get some sand, and I'll meet you guys back at the tunnel. I don't know. Possibly with this, with the glass already up, but maybe not. We will see. And I guess with that, I will see you guys when I'm done.